Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer, because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe, who hear the prayers, and we answer them all in His own perfect timing, because His timing is perfect, and His timing will always be perfect. Amen. Amen. And also, we share the good news of Jesus Christ, right out of this true and act of the living word of God, which brings the free gift of salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone, and if you repent of your sins, and if you do all that, it offers you the best gift of all which you can ever receive, which is eternal life with Jesus Christ forever in its presence when you die. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God is good. Today, we got a good topic that we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about the hope that we have for us believers if we are in Christ. So we have hope. We have hope. It's good news. We're going to be in Psalms 23, verse 6. I'm going to encourage you to open up your Bibles, follow along with us, or turn on your Bibles, but please try not to get distracted by anything, by whether it's talking to someone or seeing a text go through on your phone. Let's just focus on the living word of God for right now for in these next couple of moments. Then we'll be, then we will, um, then you guys can go on to whatever you guys need to do. But Psalms 23, verse 6, um, let me open this up in a brief word of prayer, then we'll begin. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for your love that never fails. Would you teach us something new about your word? Grow us so we need to be grown. Lord, help us love you more. We want to love you more. We confess we don't love you enough, so help grow our love for you even more. We love you. Help us love you more. Amen. You guys ready? Psalms 23, verse 6 says this, brothers and sisters. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let's reread this one more time as we always do. And as we reread this a second time, let's meditate on this passage and ask God that he would speak to us about what this means to us. You guys ready? Let's read it again. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, what does this mean? And how does this start out? It says, Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. Surely what? Surely your goodness. Whose goodness? God's goodness. The King of kings, the Lord of lords who died for us. Surely your goodness and what? Love. God is good, and his love is good. God is love, and he's good. If you know God, if you're a Christian, then you probably have experienced his goodness. I can testify that I have experienced God's goodness, and I know his love, and it follows me. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all what? All the days of my life, not just on the bad days, not just on the good days, but all the days of my life. All the days, brothers and sisters. Isn't that good news? All the days. God's goodness and love will follow us. Even when we just found out that someone has cancer, God's goodness and love will follow us. Because God is good and he loves us and he has a plan for us. And he's, he's promised to be with us until the very end of the age. And what? And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So God's goodness and your love will follow you all the days of your life. Then this is when you die. Well, I think this is, no, actually no. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Even on this earth, before you get to heaven, you can dwell. You can focus on heaven. You can dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You can focus on the house of the Lord. Then one day when you die, you'll be with God forever in heaven. Brothers and sisters, this is good news. And what's my hope? Let's land on the plane and send it home. What's my hope for you? What's my encouragement for you? My encouragement is this, is that if you have accepted God as your Lord and Savior, that you will continue to experience His goodness and His love, and that it will continue to follow you all the days of your life, and that you can share this goodness and share his love with other people and bring more people into the family of God and more people, yeah, because brothers and sisters, this world is hurting. People need God. People need the hope. And the only way we, we have hope and we have life is through Jesus Christ and what he did for us on the cross. This is our hope. This is our story. 
and Jesus needs to be lifted high all the more. And this is why this channel exists, to bring hope to other people, to bring hope in the darkest situations of all, so people can be lifted high. Amen. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, if you never came to God before, or you would like to come back to God right now, in order the prodigal sin, then here is the opportunity to do so right now, by saying the simple prayer from the silence of your own heart. Repeat these words after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Will you please come into my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you, Lord. You're the only hope I have, Lord. I repent of all my sins, and I turn to you and accept you as my Savior. Amen. If you just pray this prayer today for the first time with us, or we pray this prayer in honor of the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you into the family of God, or welcome you back into the family of God. Because scripture says when one walks in the family of God, or when one walks back in, heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've also been praying for this very moment, because this is truly the most important decision that one can ever make with life, or that one has already made with life. It's by placing their faith in Jesus Christ alone, and repenting of their sins, and accepting the free, free gift of salvation. Because it is a free gift. You don't have to pay money for it. It's a free gift of salvation that Jesus Christ offers you. So, so I want to welcome you to the family of God. If you just made this decision today for the first time, or we committed your life to Christ today, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources and next steps to take on this very important decision that you made today. We don't want to mock you at all. We don't want to press you. We just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this very important decision that you made today. And also, we just want to be praying for you because we believe in the power of prayer. You better believe what we do. So we want to be praying for you as you continue along this journey that God would grow you and show you the plan that he has for you. He has a beautiful plan for you, which only he has for you. He has a plan for me that he... He has a plan for each one of us. Each of his plan for us is different. It's not the same. That's the beautiful thing of life. Brothers and sisters, can I bless you all today before I send you all on your way? Is that fine? Will you put your hands up to receive it? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may you never forget that surely your love and surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen and amen. God's kingdom in heaven, we will be in forever one day. But we can dwell in it in this lifetime before we get there. We can focus on it. God has focused on the things of heaven, not the things of earth. The things of earth will go straight into the gym. We'll talk more about more topics in the future. We got some more videos c coming, so get excited about that. Um, brothers and sisters, if you guys were encouraged by this video, would you please do me a favor? Please click on that share button if you feel like someone else needs to hear this good news, hear this hope for their life. Uh, if you guys just need prayer for your life, or uh, just need to talk, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. We'd love to pray for you. We'd love to just talk to you, hear your story, answer any questions that you have. And until next time, keep question number one and have a very blessed day. Peace. God bless you all.